I don't do it for the money. I do it for the passion. I don't do it for the money. I do it for all I can be and more. To inspire others and for others to inspire me. I don't do it for the money. I do it for the light at the end of the tunnel. The promise of a better tomorrow. Using public transport to make it to Charles the Wilson Stadium. Now the game opening up. The last few minutes they cross it in. It's the crossbar. Oh, was that good? Changing the angle a bit. Oh, bottom just the ball. I don't do it for the money. I do it for the quiet belief that I can do anything. And then do more. I don't do it for the money. But I need money to back me. The Net Bank Cup and Guiana Team Search. Another way we get money to back you. Hey guys, welcome to History Behind Mzansi Football, the only YouTube channel that celebrates South African club football. And in this video, I will be talking about the South African version of the FA Cup which is currently running today, which is known as the Nathan Cup. Now this tournament, this cup competition, the Nathan Cup, was first established in 2008 after the Epsa Cup and the Bob Safe Super Bowl. And yeah, I mean, it has been running for yeah, quite some time. So, I'm going to be talking about the sponsors and how it came to be, the cup competition, and the teams that have won the tournament for the past years. And what, you know guys, what better way to talk about this tournament than to talk about the sponsor next time. Netbank was founded in the year 1888 in Amsterdam in Holland as the name the Lenzi Bank in Credit Vereniging voor South Africa, which is an Afrikaans term for Dutch Bank and Credit Union for South Africa. In the 1st of August, the same year the bank opened at Street in Pretoria. In uh, the year 1903, the company was a need to Netherlands Bank for South Africa, which is a Dutch term once again for the Dutch Bank for South Africa. The bank expanded in the year 96. I'm not talking about the ITC. And the office was opened in London. But the bank, however, the bank split in 1951, renewing its South African part as the major bank in South Africa for the bank. Netherlands Bank of South Africa. 
we give him an abbreviation for NDSA. The South African part was completely independent. While, however, the Dutch part of the bank was no longer existed. The current format sees 16 clubs of the PSL, 8 clubs of the National First Division, as well as 8 teams from the amateur ranking of the ABC with two teams, and the main draw of 32 teams all together in three leagues. DSL teams enter automatically, while NFP teams play a single qualifier against other first division teams. And the second division clubs of the ABC Multiple League play a series of qualifiers to enter the main draw. The 32 players and clubs play in a knockout format where the winner receives the prize money of 7 million rands and not only do they qualify for the Kev Confederations Cup but take on a team of talented soccer players known as Team Kion recruited by the NetBank Group and the PSL to scout for new players which I have to say this is the version of the NBA and NFL draft if you don't know the word. In 2008, the current format of the tournament was not always as it is today when it was only 16 PSL clubs competing in the top 16 knockout format. In 2008, the year NetBank Cup was established, Mameli Descendants clinched the first Netbank Cup trophy when they defeated Mpumalanga Black Aces one year. A year later, 16 first division teams were included in the tournament, not just to compete against each other, but also to play against 16 PS clubs. At that year, Morocco Swallows, the Soweto based club, won in the 2009 edition when they defeated the University of Pretoria by a single goal. In 2010, in a revamped FND State, that was with beat Amazon to win the third edition of the tournament, while a year later, and so with the giant Orlando Pirates won the 2011 edition of the Midland Cup when they defeated the Black Lotus. Super Sport United beat Mamelo de Sandow's team year to become the 2012 champion. In 2013, the Chiefs won the Midland Cup when they defeated Super Sport United by Singapore changing the trophy. A year later, Orlando Pirates defeated this visit to become a two-time Netbank Cup champion in 2014. But Mama Lady Sundowns won the 2015 edition of the Cup competition when they beat Cape Town side Ice Cape Town. In 2016, Supersport United beat Orlando Pirates not once, but twice a year later to become back-to-back -back champions. But last year, when they defeated Meritsburg United, Free State Stars won the 11th edition of the NetBank Cup. So, the question that I'm going to ask to you guys, who is going to clinch this trophy in 2019? Will it be Amakosi Kaiser Chiefs or will it be the NFB style TS Galaxy? So guys, actually comment on us on Facebook or Twitter about your verdict. 
And yeah. That is it for the history of the Net Bank Cup. Now guys, if you want to subscribe to History Behind Mzansi Football or watch our previous videos, you can go to YouTube or subscribe on YouTube to our channel at History Behind Mzansi Football and comment us. Or if you like to go to Facebook and visit on what's been happening in our channel, you can visit Facebook and probably like our page. So guys, that is it for our take on the history of the Netbank Cup. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I talked about it. Now I'll be back very soon with a brand new video. Cheers guys from me. It's Oh, you too.